Hello and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sora Darkchild, and welcome back to Let's Replay. Hey, Chrono Cross. Last time, we saw the opening of this game and did a little bit of a tutorial on the battle mechanics of this game. Now, we are on a little bit of a mission here for uh, Serge's uh, girlfriend, Le Lena, to get three kimono scales for her so that she can make a necklace out of them. And I recruited her dog, Poshul, just to make this a little easier. You can try doing this uh, alone if you want, but uh, it might prove to be a little difficult. dog. Fine for the moment. <coughs> hmm. Fireball ability, nice. And there's one of the kimonos we need to get. Simple enough. Just gotta put the boulder right in front of that hole, go around, and then you got him. The next two, however, after this fight, are a little bit more tricky to do. Good boy, or girl, I can't remember. I still can't remember if this dog is a guy or a girl. a kimono scale for that. Awesome. Let's see, kimono. There he is. Don't let him get away. Gotcha. to go. Now, how do I get that treasure chest up there? There's got to be a trick to how do I get over there. I don't remember. There's the last kimono. treasure chest would sink, not float up to the surface. A silver lupe? What is that? Ah, it's an equipment. 
equipment. Okay. Sadly, this game is not one of my favorites, but at least I always give it a chance. Okay, I have to time it right for this. Pardon me a second. again. Fight's not over yet. We just pissed off the mother. And you are blue elemental. Okay, so I need to make sure the elemental gauge is not anywhere blue. Yeah, you like fireball. One thing I hate about elements in this game is that despite that they might do tremendous damage if you can get the field effect the same color, you can only use them once. Unless you stacked more than one of the same element. No, defend. Get him, Surge. are weakening. Let's see. Aqua, no way, you're a blue elemental. That that's not gonna do much good on you. And down she goes! Believe it or not, that was the first boss of the game. 
I know because of that. Oh, We now have three Komodo scales. Let's get moving to Osina Beach and wait for Lina. I'll worry about that treasure chest later. I'm sorry you're late. I hope you didn't wait too long, Serge. No, we just got here. Posho? I didn't expect to see you here. So this is where you went off to. Wee! Linus here. here. How are you doing? Oh, are you two on the date? Sorry! He, me think we, me should leave you two alone. Oh, please, don't be silly. Oh, so so. Well, how'd it go? Did you get the kimono dragon scales? Oh, they're beautiful. I'll make a nice and great necklace with these. Thank you, Serge. And you too, Poshul. Hmm, no problem. I'm... It sure has been a long time since we last came here. We used to come here often. scene never changes, does it? It's been rolling in and out like this scene since long before we were born. But they're here for eternity, it seems. It's probably been many years, many things, I heard many things. It'll probably keep rolling in and out, in and out, long after our lifetime without a single change. Hey, Serge. Remember that time we sat and talked like this back when we were kids? With the gentle breeze, he's in tranquil sound of the waves. Just the two of us talking. Do you remem- Do you still remember that day? Really? You do? So you haven't forgotten about the promise we made that day. <laughs> that makes me happy. We aren't memories, but aren't memories strange? When you think that you've forgotten about something, it comes floating back into your heart. I guess it's just lying there and wait, waiting for the right moment. Why, we might even remember this very moment someday. In 10, 20 years, when we're all grown up and married, and have kids of our own. When that time comes, I wonder what kind of adults we'll be. What kind of life I will be leading. Make this what I'll make of this day. Yeah, I hope you're right. Um, Serge, there's something I've been wanting to search. Search. Hmm. 
What? Something wrong? What's wrong, Serge? Serge? Well, this just got interesting. What are you doing here, boy? It's dangerous to sleep out here. Are you all right, boy? What on earth were you doing lying down anyway? For a second there, I thought you might have been dead or a dead body, washed ashore. Yeah, where's Lena? You were the only one I saw when I got here. Are you a friend of Lena's? I believe she's in the village babysitting. Well, I'd best be on my way. Hey, anyway, if you're looking for Lena, you should stop by the village. You know, you shouldn't be playing out here, her boy. Wouldn't want anything to happen to you now. You're finally up. Something went worse than me went hot out cold. He woke up. Her first her to me went to go look around. But nothing of Lena anywhere. Do you think Lena temporarily combustion? We better... we wonder if she's okay. Yeah, somehow these two got sent to wherever we are, but Lena didn't. I was really hoping to move out of the way for that one. All right, let's make this quick. Did we just get a cure spell from that? I think we did. Which means I need to equip that. Oh no, we didn't. My mistake. Now then. Go talk to Lena. 
So this is this where you've been. And you could have just... How could you just leave us and go back to us on your own? Go back? On my own? What are you talking about, Postal? And... Who are you? Have we met somewhere before? Are you from Termina? What are you t saying, Lena? Hey, yeah, you. Don't be trying to pull my any moves on our Lena, you jerk. Don't be silly. Hey, don't go swimming out too far now, you hear? Okay, gotcha. I guess kids will be kids. Don't worry about them. You know... You look a lot like the boy I used to live next door to me. What was his name? Why? Why do you want to know his name? That boy died. He drowned when he was very young. This all happened ten years ago. Soon after, his mother passed away too. I was still very young back then, so I don't remember too well. But my mom says his name was... Serge. I'm Serge. You're Serge? Oh, stop that. That's not even funny. The boy is dead, don't you understand? That boy... I guess I kind of liked him. If that boy were still alive today, I wonder what would have become of us. Sure is weird. Why am I opening up to you like this? Well, I guess there's no use thinking about the past. It's not like Serge is going to come back. Mom always tells me I shouldn't dwell on the love, lost loved ones. You can find his grave on Cape Cowell. Cape Howell. Actually, why don't you go visit the grave site? No one's been there in a while. Well, I still have some chores to finish. Sorry I blew up at you like that. Goodbye, stranger. Might as well go check out that grave site. Cave Howell. Some writing on the tombstone. R.I.P. Our beloved Serge died at age seven. Nobody can take anything away from him, nor can anyone give anything from to him. 
What came from the sea has returned to the sea. So you must be the ghost of the boy who died ten years ago. Surge. Hey, don't go... Oh, kicking the dog? What's the matter with you? Sorry, Junior. Her... But we have no business with your friends. We're just after you. Be a good boy and come with us. But Sir Karsh, do you think it is truly true? Who, that this chap is a ghost? He seems like a perfectly perfect young boy to me. That doesn't matter. We found the boy here just as he said we would, didn't he? Now seize him! Hold your horses there. Who the? Quite a jump you made there, kid. Out of the way, Missy. He, you don't want to get hurt now, do you? Shut your trap. You're the ones who's... Who'd better get it out of the way. You have a problem? And do you have a shaken idea who you're dealing with, Missy? That's enough. Listen up, Junior. Our orders are to take you in. We don't want to hurt you. Just come with us. Or else this axe of mine will have to be do the talking. For crying out loud, uh, would you just shut up and get on with it? I'm gonna kick your sorry arses so hard you'll kiss your moons. Fair enough. You leave us no choice. You'll regret this, Missy. Oh boy, boss time. Against Garsh and his two lackeys, Salt and Pepper. Yes, that is their names. I recommend taking them both out first. His element color attribute is white! Right, that does it. Quick, attack him with the opposite element attribute color, black. How unfortunately unfortunate. I do not seem to have any, sir. You nincompoop! You should always carry opposites of every color. Elements of every color. Then how about how are you there? I'm shaking in my shoes to tell you this, sir. But I don't have any either. We'll have to let you, Sir Carr, show us how it's done. Useless fools! <sighs> Real men don't need magic when they fight with their might. Okay, 
Azal is almost down. There he goes. Now for Petpor. He's going down quickly. Wrong person. Gosh, but I say we should get on out of here, so that we can live to fight another day. There aren't no ordinary brats we're dealing with. Damn cowards. As for you, Missy, we won't forget this. Ooh, I'm so scared. I'll be happy to take you on anytime. Think I'll lose to scum like you? Ha! You all right, mate? Serge. So your name's Serge, ain't it? Oh, me? My name's... Kid. Call me, kid. Nice to meet ya. I just couldn't stand by and watch those blokes gang up on ya like that. It, they just piss me off. Piss, the, piss me the bloody hell off. Oh, oh, I wish I could have uh, be one of them some more. But why was that mob after ya? What do you mean you never met him before, eh? Ah, forget it. Hey, Serge, how about you tell you and me team up for a while? That car spell ain't gonna just leave you alone, that's for sure. And to tell you the truth, I'm new to these lands. I'm, it's pretty lonely traveling around here on my own. <laughs> so how about it, Serge? Maybe it was fate that we meet up like this. 
Uh, I'm gonna refuse for a while. Hang on. Are you telling me you're gonna refuse the company of a lonely, vulnerable, sweet little girl? Sure there, mate. You might not you might live to regret it, you know. Jeez, we'll have it your way, mate. Don't worry, she'll join us later anyway. Regardless what choices you make, she uh, always joins you. I'll be heading up north to the town called Termina. It'd be getting dark pretty soon. So I just suggest you find a place to shack up for the night. Don't want to... Don't want you to become a hackerin bait here now. <laughs> well, see ya. It was terrible. Oh, they should be kind to animals. How were you able to climb all the way back up there, Poshul? Rise and shine, everyone. A new day awaits. I'm glad I found you here, though. Surge, right? Kind of feels odd calling you that. You know, I've been thinking. Maybe you had some kind of accident and hit your head? That's why your memory is all messed up. You're really someone else. Well, but you think you're the Surge who died ten years ago. I want to help you. I can't just leave you alone like this. You don't seem like uh, such a bad person, either. You're planning to go to Termina, right? Then let me help you. I have some errands to run over there anyway. And to tell the truth, it feels like I've always known you. Sounds strange, doesn't it? Well then. Well, that's that. Shall we get going? Welcome to the team, Lena. Yeah, if you refused her all the kid all those times, you'd be able to get her. If you agreed to let kid join you, she wouldn't join your party. Okay. Let's head to Termina. Before we do, I got another party member to get. Oh, sure, sure. Full team of the head. Full speed ahead. We have another teammate to get, and I know where to get him. Huh? Who the? What are you doing in my house? My house isn't a playground for you kids, alright? Go play outside. Dude, we're 17. Who are you, mister? This is Sergeepo's house, isn't it? Where's the mama, Susie Who? What? Who? Marge? Who the heck is that? I lived in this house for five years now. Sorry, that name doesn't ring a bell. For five years? Is that true, mister? Also, this is really, really weird. Whatever, with all your gibberish, man. And get out of my house.
now then, time to get our next party member. I believe it's in this house. Remember that shark's tooth we got? We're using it now. Oh, hello there. I just finished praying. Here, take a look. It's called Mojo. Oh, it's a good luck charm from the Far East. Can you feel the love and affection oozing from it? It's just such an amazing messenger of love and courage. Think about it, my brother. Or how our everyday lives are controlled by uncertainty and fear. Our spent yesterdays and our uncertain tomorrows. How we live a meaningless life today. This holy item filled with prayers protects and supports us. Come on, my brother. Let us pray together and bring peace of mind to our hearts. You sound like you just started a cult, my friend. Where can you find true love, love and peace of mind within Mojo? Here, I got something for you. This is a tooth from a ferocious lion shark. And look at the size of this thing. Judging from the size of this baby, must be, have been a good 15 feet. Don't tell me you're the ones who caught it. What? What did you say? Another me? So the other me who became a fisherman asked you to give this to me? What are you talking about? That's enough. There is only one me. How can there be another me out there? Sure, there was a point in my life where I thought about becoming a fisherman, but that was a good 10 years ago. But I couldn't do it. I gave up that path. Right then and there, I just gave up. I don't care what you say. Hey, this is the path I chose, and I don't regret it. Besides, you can't just change the way you live in the blink of an eye. Now, would you please put that thing away and leave me alone? Whatever you say. Your doppelganger was a bit cooler being a fisherman. Ba-boom! Hold on a second there! What was that? Love is always in the air. It's just one... It's just that no one notices. Y your mojo? I'm Mojo, and I bring good fortune. Bug Boogum! This can't be happening. How in the... I sense some strong, some kind of purpose. You seem like fun, so I will join you. Wait a second. There's nothing drool about me. Just a word of advice. Stop running and come face to face with your life. Uh, a messenger of love and courage I am. I'm lucky, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Mojo has joined the party. Yup, we get a living voodoo doll with a giant nail through his chest joining us. And he's only temporary. Now then.
we got everybody that we can for the moment. And I think I'll be heading to Tormina next time in Let's Replay Chrono Cross. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave a comment if you want. Ring the bell to be notified when our next video comes out. We do new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and occasionally Saturday and Sundays. Till the next video, this is Sword Archeld signing off. Have a good night, folks.